guys, I'm Nate Tell, and with Season of Dawn approaching tomorrow, and scout rifles being a main focus in the seasonal artifact, in this exotic guide, I'm going to teach you how to get the exotic scout rifle Mito multi-tool. To start off, you will need to complete two story missions. The first is enhance differential diagnosis, and the second is called enhance again, but this time it's called experimental treatment. Now, once you complete these two missions, you are going to need to return to Devrim, and it won't show up, but you will also need to return to the tower to talk to Banshee, because when you complete both missions, at the end of the second mission, Devrim will give you something that you are going to need to begin your exotic quest. Without this item, you can't kick off your exotic quest. And again, what that item is, I'll leave for you to discover. It's nothing ridiculous, nothing crazy, but you do need to have access to this item so that your quest can kick off. So again, you complete Enhance Differential Diagnosis and Enhance Experimental Treatment. You return to Devrim. Once you do that, you return to the tower to talk to Banshee, and that kicks off your exotic quest. Something to note, it is possible for this quest to glitch if you don't have space in your special weapon slot, so that's something to keep in mind when Devrim gives you your Mida. Once the two enhanced missions are complete and you have talked to Devrim and he has gifted you a special weapon, you are going to need to return to the tower. Now, this part won't show up. You won't get a message saying that you need to return to the tower, but this is what you've got to do. You will need to return to the tower, talk to Banshee, and that officially kicks off your Mida Multi 2 Exotic Quest. Banshee is going to give you Sight, Shoot, and Repeat. That's the name of the quest in its entirety. That's the main name, but also the first step is called Sight, Shoot, and Repeat. For the first step, you've got to do two things. A, using a scout rifle, kill 50 enemies using headshots or precision kills. B, the second part is using a scout rifle, kill multiple enemies without reloading. So these first two steps as long as you're working on the first step, the second step you'll fill up as well. So again, all you're doing is using a scout rifle, you're going to kill 50 enemies using precision shots, or again, headshots. The second step, using a scout rifle, eliminate multiple enemies without reloading. It's very simple, very basic, and again, the best place to do this is in the EDZ. Go to the Gulch, find the Cabal, and just start unloading. Now, I don't know if you can do this in a fire team, meaning if you're doing it with three people, I don't know if their kills will count towards you. I did notice someone else while I was there, and I just went to a different spot and continued to get kills so that this way it wouldn't mess me up because, again, I don't know if it counted, if his kills counted towards my kill. Something to note, this step can actually be done in any activity However, the easiest and fastest way to do it is in the EDZ. Now, once you complete Sight, Shoot, and Repeat, again, you will need to return to Banshee in the tower. He's going to give you your next quest step. The next quest step is called Under the Hood. For this quest step, it's by far the easiest quest step in any exotic that you are going to get. All you're going to do is dismantle five rare or legendary scout rifles. So... If you have five exotic scout rifles, that's a rare. Or if you have five purple scout rifles, those are legendaries. All you are doing is dismantling them. If you have scout rifles saved in your vault, go into your vault, dismantle five legendary ones, and that's it. If you don't have any scout rifles on you, just go into your collections, and you can get them from there, and that counts, and dismantle them again. Very easy step, all you're doing is dismantling five rare or legendary scout rifles. My preferred method, as you can see on screen, I went directly into my vault and I started to rummage around to see what I had and I began to dismantle legendary scout rifles because more than likely I will be able to get them back from my collections. But instead of trying to go out into the wild and do Gambit or Crucible or Strikes or whatever it may be to get a scout rifle. I just had them right here. And again, this is 
by far the easiest step in any exotic quest you're ever going to do. Once you have dismantled your five rare or legendary scout rifles, again you will need to return to Banshee and if you are in the tower, just if you open up your vault, take a few steps and walk to Banshee and this will give you your next quest step. Your next quest step is going to be called The Fall Will Kill You. For this quest step, you're going to use the submachine gun Devrim gave you and you're going to defeat 50 enemies while you are airborne. That's it. It sounds a lot harder than what it is. It's actually incredibly easy. All you're doing is killing 50 enemies while you are airborne using a submachine gun. And again, the best place to do this, the best place, the easiest place to do this is on the EDZ. You can load into the Gulch or you can load in next to Devrim into the Trostlands and all you're doing is killing 50 enemies using a submachine gun and again if you don't have one on your person Devrim gave you a submachine gun at the beginning of this quest and so now you can use that submachine gun to get this step done and again just jump before you shoot an enemy or just jump up and just shoot down on them and you'll get this done in no time a bit of helpful advice if you have any exotic that helps you with your jump or your lift or holds you in place that's gonna help you a great deal here and you can equip that jump and if it holds you in place or if it steadies your lift or whatever it may be use that and that's gonna help you a great deal here while you're jumping in the air and getting your 50 kills if you are able to get the enemy is moving against each other in the trust line where you're trying to get your 50 kills that is going to make it so much easier and it's going to be so much faster because it's going to be a whole bunch of enemies bunched up you just jump into the air unload downwards and you're bound to get two or three maybe four just in one jump once you complete your 50 airborne kills with a submachine gun you will need to return to the tower once again and speak with Banshee and this time he's going to have your Mita multi-tool exotic scout rifle. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Nick Talent. I'll catch you guys on the next exotic guide.